my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're going to try and save you even more time when using your Chromebooks. And the way we're going to do that is by diving onto Google Sheets and we're going to set up some macros. Now, what are macros? Well, macros are going to save you time by automatically running through a number of tasks that you have to do over and over again when dealing with data. For example, data comes in, the first thing you do is you remove all duplicates, trim the white space before and after, format the header and format the first column. Now these are all time consuming tasks and you can record these in a macro, simply play the macro back and you no longer have to worry about doing it all manually. Now where can I find macros in my Google Sheets? Simple, in your menu at the top, simply click on tools and then navigate down to macros. Now this will not work when you're offline, but here you can now select record macro. Now, as soon as you click on record macro, it's going to start recording all your actions. And these are the ones that are going to be remembered. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to click on record macro. We select our data. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort our data. So go ahead and go to the top, select data and then sort sheet. We're going to sort it A to Z. And then once that's been done, we're going to give our top row a different color. So let's go ahead and select that row and we're going to color it with a background color. We're now going to do the same with the first column and we're going to give that a different color as well. Next, we select all our data and we're going to remove duplicates and trim the white spaces. Now these are two new functions in Google Sheets and you can find them at the top as well in that data menu. So let's go ahead and click on data again. Now you will see at the bottom we now have two new functions in Google Sheets. The first one being remove duplicates. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to remove duplicates. It's going to ask us which duplicates we'd like to remove. We're going to select them and click remove duplicates. All duplicates have been removed. Again select your range Go to the top, data, trim, white spaces. This is going to remove all the white spaces at the end and in front of random words or text. Once that's been done, we can stop our macro. So at the bottom, you will see that there is a recording menu and this is where we can now stop the recording of a macro. Once you press save, it's going to ask you to name the macro. Now we can name this macro anything we'd like, but remember macros are linked to your spreadsheets, your workbook. You can have many different sheets inside your workbook, but you cannot transfer macros from one workbook to another. Hopefully this is an update that will come in the future, but for now we are limited to keeping it within that single workbook. Now let's say that you're in a second sheet and you've gathered all that new data from a form. Well, we can now simply run the macro. So let's go ahead and open up our second sheet. Let's go to the top tools, macros, and you will see that now instead of only having the option to record a macro, we also have an extra option. And this option is to actually run our previously recorded macro. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you will see at the top it says running script and it's running our macro and it's doing everything we want it to do. Now, if this is the first time you're running it, you'll have to authorize it to run. But once that's done, this works like a charm and it's going to save you loads of time. And that's all for macros in Google Sheets. Now don't forget, I'd love to hear what your favorite tips and tricks are for Google Sheets and working on a Chromebook. And how are you using your Chromebooks in class or in school? Let me know in the comment section below Below, and I will make sure to give you even more tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. My name is Seti and thank you for watching.